I get this question quite a bit. Um, what do I like better? Um, my question is I like both. My answer, rather. My answer is I like both. But my Tumblr press makes everything go by so much faster, right? So in the Tumblr press, um, I'll usually press for about 60 seconds. In the oven, it's got to go for about four to five or six minutes, depending on your design. Um, I already prepped what I'm going to press today. And it's two different images. These are just regular skinny white tumblers. And by the way, if you have not heard, your girl opened up a tumbler blank shop. So um, you can get your tumblers from Power to Manifest now at p2m. Uh, p2mshop.com um, I have 20 ounce white skinny I have 30 ounce tumblers I have um, shimmer tumblers I have UV glow and I have the frosted mason jar so make sure y'all check me out okay um, so these aren't full coverage images they're just the image for the front so it's mostly white um, but that's okay they're two different images um, so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna start with the press um, and I have my press set to 385 degrees and I'm going to press it for 60 seconds. Um, if you have like a full coverage image, you're going to want to turn it. But since I don't have a full coverage image, it's only um, in, in one section right in the front. So I'm going to actually put the image side face down in the tumbler press. And I'm going to go ahead and, oh, what I need to do is tighten it up because I had the uh, mason jar. I had the mason jar in there. Okay, yes. Hey, Jocelyn, I will. Let me, ah, let me take this out and tighten it up some. I have my mason jar in here. And I was trying to size it. And it's super de duper. Somebody pinned my shop. It's p2 www.p2mshop.com for the tumblers. What printer do you use for images? I have the Epson 27. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. 2720. I have the Epson 2720. I turned it into a sublimation printer. Hey Shonda. <clears throat> okay, let's try this again. I should have sized it first. There we go. It's better. And I actually have my timers already set to 70 seconds, so I'm gonna just let it go for that long. It's not gonna hurt anything. www.p2m if y'all have any questions for me, please put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you, Latanya. Let's see if I can pin it. If it lets me pin it. I don't know why it's not letting me pin it. But it is in the comments if you need it. And um, I did get my Tumblr press from Pro World, so that link should be in the caption if you need a Tumblr press. And I believe the Tumblr press, they also give you four tumblers that come with the press. It's either two or four. Um, and then also, if you wanted to get something from Pro World, you can use my code. It's P2M. P2M2022. Hot off the press. It's steaming. I can kind of see the image through, so I know it went through all the way. I don't know if y'all can see that that good. The light from the window is kicking today. Hey, Janice. Okay. All right, Jocelyn. Glad you're here. All right, here's my second image. Um... I have my oven set to 385 and 
Now, here, I don't know if something is wrong with my thermometer or not because it's not even hitting 300, but my, my oven says 385, so I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and toss it in. And I'm going to leave it in there for about, I'm going to turn it in about, actually I don't need to turn this because it's not a full design. So I'll leave it in there about four to five minutes. Hey Diane. <coughs> Excuse me. If you have any questions for me, please put them in the chat. Um, I'm not sure where you're watching it from. Hey, Dion, where are you watching from? But we do have a sublimation Facebook group, okay? If you're not in our sublimation Facebook group, it's called the Sublimation Hustle. Please join there. And um, Coach Ayana is the coach for the Sublimation Hustle. She will answer any questions you have. If you just post them, you can tag her. Um if you have any specific questions why do you have to put it in the oven i i did my first i'm doing the oven versus the tumbler press so y'all see i did the tumbler press it was only 70 seconds with the oven it takes a few minutes so i'm just showing the different options i'm just showing the different options it's whatever works for you whatever's in your budget i believe this the tumbler press costs about 400 dollars so in my oven, I paid, I bought off of um, Myrna here in the group, and I paid $50 for it. So, you know, it, it could be budget, it could be both, um, and it could make a difference too, depending on maybe your design. I've seen where some people have said that they prefer the oven because their designs come out better. So it's really, you know, your preference. It's really your preference. Um, and you don't really know until you get in there and do it, you know? Hey, Wendy. You want to try the oven with your tumblers to see what you like best? Exactly. Exactly. See what you like best. Okay, we've been in there for about two minutes so far. It's still kicking. Let's see if we can peel off some of this other one. I can already tell this came out pretty because I can kind of see it through the uh, paper. <clears throat> hey Tanya just signed on the replay will be up Wendy you can go back and watch and the sub paper that I'm using is um, Starcraft and I got the Starcraft paper from Atlanta Vinyl y'all know that's my shop my go-to spot. I have a few other papers that I want to try though. I want to try, I hear a lot of good things about the Craft and Besties. I hear a lot of good things about the Blanks Galore. So I have yet to try those. That's next on my list. But um, this Starcraft paper is pretty good too. It definitely doesn't bleed as much as the a -Sub. Things just don't want to come off. Hey, Mona. You have a tumbler press and you, yeah, it is way faster. Especially if you're pumping out orders. You know, you're pumping out orders. You definitely want to go with the press. It's just so much faster. This is beautiful. Don't let me forget about the one in the oven, y'all, because I will forget. <laughs> I will forget. Can I do a class on stickers? Sure. There we go. This came out really, really good. This came out really good. Hey, Sean. Bought your press from Amazon. Okay, girl. Yes, trees. I see you've been in the lab. Let's check this out. Let's see. I don't want it to burn. I don't know. It started to. It looked like it wanted to burn. Almost. We'll see if it went through the paper though. 
Y'all know I can't wait till it cool down. <laughs> Gotta do it while it's hot. While it's hot. And because this isn't a full uh, tumbler image, that's why I didn't put as much. I didn't, um, you know, tape it down as much. I didn't have to. I didn't have to. Oh, shoot. You need your help, need help setting up your heat press? What kind of heat press you got? Because wherever you buy your heat press from, they should have some type of assembly video. I mean, unless you maybe got it from Amazon or something like that, but usually when you buy from the manufacturers, they have a um, video. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This came out really good too. I feel like, I don't know, it could be the quality of the image maybe. I feel like it's not as bright and vibrant. If we look at these two together, I feel like this one is more bright and vibrant, but it could be, uh oh, where am I at? It could be the quality of the image too. And that's almost what I'm thinking with this. The, the Tweety Bird one. But, I mean, they both came out good. They both look really good. So, you see, the only, really, the biggest difference was one was faster. Or maybe it's just not as bright because I left it in too long. It could be that, too. Because it did start to burn on the paper. So, maybe less time. And I think I had it on 385 in the oven and I took it out at like four and a half minutes. So, yes, it is cute. Exactly, Mona. That's why, that's why I was like, oh, I just, because I just bought this image last week and then you sent me what you made about the Tweety Bird 3D shirt. I was like, I'm going to go ahead and use that image. <laughs> what does the pixels need to be? Girl, don't get me lying. I don't know. I don't know what the pixels need to be. But I bought this image off of Etsy and it looked like, it didn't look like the best is as this quality. So that's why the first thing I said was probably the quality of the image. So, yes, it came out pretty good. So what do I like better? I mean... I say I like, I'll say Tumblr Press is number one because it goes faster. Tumblr Press is going to be my number one go to because it goes faster. But the oven is good. And again, I can say it, it might depend on design. So Mona said, Highly Pixel, you, uh, she loves HD 1000. Okay. Who mad? Who mad? Who gave me the mad emoji? Why you do that? What you mad about, girl? Heard someone use air fryers? Yeah, and that's, you know what? And that's what I used on, I have the air fryer uh, oven. So the temperature that I used was air fry and I turned it down to 385. So it could be too because I had it on the air fryer. And it's more like er, 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 direct heat that, you know, why it burned like that. Well, it didn't burn, but, you know, overcooked it or, you know, whatever. So, it's one of the two. It's one of the two. Either the image wasn't the best quality or I cooked it a little bit too long. Or it could be both. It could be both. But it still came out good. It's still sellable to me. I'd still sell it. Make some money. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. All right. Do you ladies have any questions? Do you ladies have any questions? I just want to come in real quick, give you that quick overview on um, both because I've been getting that question a lot since I got my Tumblr press from Pro World. You ladies have any questions? I'm looking forward to hanging out with you ladies on Sunday. Um, the Power to Hustle crew. We're going to do cake shaker toppers. Um, 
membership is closed for enrollment, but if you would like to join us and come in on the next open enrollment, please add your name to the list at www.power2manifest.com forward slash community. And we'll let you know when we, re when we reopen. Um, so you can come in and join us in our live classes. We have so much fun. We do some hands-on learning. We help each other. We share information. So it's definitely where you want to be. If you feel you're a little slower on the learning curve and you need some more personalized help interaction, um, you know, how much do you sell your tumblers for? My tumblers start at $30. My plain tumblers start at $30. And then my Bluetooth tumblers start at $50. Thank you, Dion. I'm working on getting some Bluetooth tumblers in my shop. So, they're a hot commodity right now. And they're hard to come across. So, y'all keep looking out for them because when they come, they come in. <laughs> Okay, Dion, come through. Hey, Wendy. You're welcome. Dart and I are doing 30 tumblers. We're searching for the best prices for tumblers. Any suggestions? Me, girlfriend. Uh, you can go to my shop, www.power, I mean, www.p2mshop.com. I sell them by the case, too. Uh, I got to see if that's activated on there. It might show as a pre-sale. I'm not sure. Uh, but you can always inbox me. I sell a case of, t of 25 for $100. I mean, I'm sorry. I sell a case of 10 for $100. I didn't see your question. Thank you, Alfreda. Come back, okay? Make sure you come back to the next one. Trace, did you see my question? No, put it in again. If you have a cup with sublimation on one side, can you put some, something on the other side later? Um, I don't know because you might burn the other side, you know, and it also depends on how you make it. So I almost want to say yes, but no. If anybody has any suggestions, please put it in the comments because I've never done that. If you're using an oven, for example, I definitely know the other side would burn because you would have to leave it in there for a few minutes. Hey, Olive. Thank you, LaTanya. All right, ladies. Do you know if there's a remover if you mess up? There's no remover if you mess up on your sublimation tumblers, but what you can do is you can put them back in your oven or your press and you can burn them off and then you can resub them with a darker image using a mud press I'm not sure I don't think I don't think so Mona I'm I'm gonna I'm give you a a no on that one but if anybody else has any suggestions please put them in the chat for Miss Mona yeah, girl, don't don't toss them messed up ones. I have I have about four or five messed up ones, and when I come across the right image to put on it, that's what I'm gonna do. We don't waste them things, girl. They're too expensive to throw out. And you can always take those and let's say you want to glitter them out and put some epoxy over it. It doesn't have to be sublimation necessarily. These tumblers and and things like that, they have the sublimation coating. But you can always put vinyl on them. You can put glitter and epoxy. You know, there's other ways you can decorate them. But they're just coated with the sublimation coating so you can do that. Exactly. You purchase silicone wraps? No. What that's going to do is go it's going to help you. It's going to help it. Um, it's similar to the shrink wrap. But I think the silicone wraps are a lot better. I haven't used them. But... From my understanding, the silicone wraps will give it a tighter fit. So no, you know, it makes it tighter so the, uh, you know, so no air gets in, no go no ghosting. There's some YouTube videos to show you how to make tumblers with the Cricut. Yeah, you can do the tumblers with the Cricut press. But she was, but Mona, um, Mona was asking about doing two, another side later. She said, if you do one side now, can you do another side later? And my my thought is no. So if y'all think if y'all think that um, 
you know, she can do something other than that, then put it in the chat. Um, can you use a silicone wrap in the mud press? Mm, good question. No clue. Will it close? I don't know. Will it make it too thick? I don't know. Oh, in the tumbler press? I would assume so. I believe you can. I believe you can. I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get some silicone. Um I'm gonna have to get some silicone wraps. I tried it. What kind of tumbler press do you use? I have the Trans Trans Pro Plus Mug Press from Pro World. And the link is in the caption if you want to check that out. You can use code P2M2022. You can use the code P2M2022 to get $10 off any orders, $79 or more. Some restrictions do apply, but you can definitely get it off of that Tumblr press.